Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for June 22nd, 2014. It's currently 9.44 a.m. We have winds from the southeast and the east around uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. From the northeast over the New York City metropolitan area around 5 miles per hour. As high pressure is taking control throughout the entire region, temperatures range from the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s in the New York City metro, and lower to mid 70s in the Philadelphia metro. It's actually a very comfortable day out there with low humidity. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful outside. So after you watch this video and the premium video for premium members, get out there and enjoy the weather because it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I plan on going out to wash my cars, enjoy you know, some outdoor activities, throw the uh, football around, maybe some baseball. It's going to be fun. The point is get outside, enjoy this weather. It's absolutely beautiful out. So let's take a look at the surface map. We have high pressure and control. The dominant high pressure is sitting up here in Quebec and funneling down a polar marine modified air mass throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area and actually all the way down into North Carolina and South Carolina. So you could see the influence of this weather pattern. Once again, all your hot and humid conditions over the southeast and over the plains your modified polar marine air mass is setting up over the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic, and in this case throughout the Great Lakes and also southern mid-Atlantic. And then you have your polar Pacific air mass setting up here over the Pacific Northwest and northern Rockies. Now, the reason why I point this out is that this influence of the pattern was not as impressive on the long-range guidance, let's say about six, seven days out. It had some hints of it, but really we were supposed to be at this point around 85, 86 degrees. And in fact, today we're only going to be around 78 to 80 degrees. The reason why I bring this up, the models in the long range have constantly underestimated the marine air masses that influence our weather pattern this year. And it looks like that's going to continue on through the summer. and something very important to consider when you're looking at the medium and long range pattern. So let's take a look at the radar, and for the most part, are high and dry. We have a few showers out here in western Pennsylvania that will not reach the region. This is an isolated, I mean really isolated shot of a shower uh, this afternoon, but most locations will remain dry with some cloud cover, not a big deal. Uh, but again, I can't rule out an extremely isolated shower, especially like let's say around Cape May, New Jersey, or right around southwest New Jersey, possibly the Philadelphia metro maybe on the eastern end of Long Island, uh, just because we have some disturbances moving around. But if you're in the Philadelphia and New York City metro, the heart of it, I really don't expect any type of impact whatsoever. So get out there and enjoy that weather. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see that cold front pressed to the south. You can see that dry air really dominating over portions of New York and New England. And that dry air will slowly press southward. But because of these disturbances that are showing up with some elevated cloud cover, there, there continues to be that threat for an isolated shower. But again, I stress the word isolated. Otherwise, that dry air will press south. And if you're in Connecticut, if you're in Long Island, most of Long Island, if you're around the uh, Hudson River Valley in northeastern Pennsylvania, it's going to be a beautiful day out there. So get out there and enjoy it. On the water vapor satellite picture, you remember... These blue lines were the upper level winds that I was showing the convergence and confluence. You're seeing that once again. Now here's your polar disturbances, but they're diving into the base of the trough. And when they dive, when the base of the trough, when the mean trough is off the coast, which is right about here, okay, that means all your winds are converging. If you're looking for a strengthening disturbance, you want the winds spreading apart like what you have out here. So when they're converging like this, that means air is at the upper levels is combining and then it's forced down towards the surface, which is what we call convergence. And convergence in sinking air leads to a limiting of lift rising air, and as a result, you end up with dry conditions. So clearly what we have is an area of convergence over the region that's going to remain in place throughout much of this week. So it's going to be very interesting to see the interaction of this boundary right here as it kind of rebounds this week as a stationary slash warm front uh, as this more tropical air mass tries to fight back. But the strength of this trough over the northwestern Atlantic is going to be something to really keep an eye on and, and evaluate day to day in determining where this frontal boundary is and just how warm we get moving on through this upcoming week. We could see a very, very 
impressive thermal gradient from Connecticut to southeastern Pennsylvania with this type of setup. And uh, we see that very nicely in the model guidance here. Using the European model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website, Again, for today, high pressure generally control, can't rely on isolated shower, but otherwise, absolutely beautiful out there with temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Tomorrow, high pressure generally in control once again, a few sky cloud cover to uh, clear skies. An isolated shower is possible in the afternoon, but otherwise dry conditions are expected. Low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s. That's We should be around 62 and it's going to be more like around 54. So that's that's pretty cool for this time of year. High temperatures will rebound into the upper 70s to lower 80s. We should be this time of year around 84, 85 degrees. So we're definitely going to be below normal for tomorrow. For Tuesday, again, a little bit more of an increase of showers. We're going to have a disturbance trying to move through the region. Again, not anything severe, not anything widespread, just a threat of a shower. Temperatures on Tuesday will again range from the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows, upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. Moving on to the middle of next week, this is where it gets interesting. Because the models at this point, from about Wednesday on through Saturday and next weekend, hints at this trough. Now if this trough is a little bit stronger, then you get a little bit more of a northwesterly flow and you end up with what we have today, where that convergent flow and more of an influence of a marine air mass. So we've got to be real careful on what we're doing with these temperatures here. And as a result, I'm going below the model guidance here on high temperatures because there is strong hints of basically a boundary setting up right around Virginia and then back out towards the Atlantic. You have a high pressure system on a lot of model guidance showing up right around Long Island. And that usually means more of an easterly to southeasterly wind coming off the Atlantic. And that typically does not support high temperatures, let's say in the upper 80s. So, the way I'm playing this out is each day you're going to have a threat for an isolated shower. I don't think any thunderstorm threats are really going to be prevalent here because the air mass really isn't supportive. It's not all that unstable at this point based on this guidance. And when you have winds at the upper levels converging like this, it typically does not support thunderstorm development. Shower development, sure. But as, as far as anything severe in nature, I don't see it at this point. So each day it's going to be a threat for an isolated to white sky shower. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s for lows. High temperatures, this is where it gets tricky. I think along the immediate coast, if you get that southeasterly wind, you're looking at upper 70s. Just away from the coast in the New York City metropolitan area, lower 80s. And as you head towards the Philadelphia metropolitan area, mid 80s. If we get that southwesterly wind, if that boundary that I was showing is able to bisect New Jersey, Philadelphia could end up in the mid to upper 80s. Meanwhile, the New York City metropolitan area ends up in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and eastern Connecticut and Long Island end up in the mid to upper 70s. So we're going to have to really watch the evolution of this pattern and exactly how these boundaries set up moving forward over the next couple of days. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.